We'll do our order. Everyone stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call of members. Chairman Gary Roth. Here. Joe Prince. Kathy Waltz. Tony Grass. Here. Jeff Eidman. Here. Tom Couch. Here. Buck Jokers. Here. Chairman, we have a quorum. So, approval of the agenda. On the agenda, we have a request for special use permit to operate a paint booth inside the auto body shop at 590 St. Genevieve Drive, which is located in the C1 Commercial District. We have a request for a special use permit to operate an auto body repair shop and conduct automotive, automobile sales at 202 North Main to operate an auto body repair shop at 235 North Main Street and maintain an automobile wrecking site at 331 North Main Street. 202 and 235 North Main are located in the C2 Central Business District and 331 North Main is located in a C4 Neighborhood Commercial District. Approval? Motion to approve. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, approval of minutes from December 2nd, 2013. Motion to approve. Got a motion? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. System input, I take it everyone that is here is for an agenda item. Correct? We'll go straight into new business. A request for a special use permit to operate a paint booth inside an auto body shop at 590 St. Jimmy Drive, which is located in the C1 Commercial District. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion to approve. I got a motion. Second. And a second. All in favor? Aye. All right, all, let's, let's do a roll call, please. Okay, no discussion. Is there any more any discussion? I feel like we've discussed the, this substantially in their previous SUP, and uh, the fire chief uh, does not see any increased fire hazard, so I'm comfortable to make the motion to approve. On that, on that basis, uh, do you... Uh, you know whenever I can get my business license? I'm sorry? I know. Do you know whenever I can get my business license to operate? As soon as we issue the occupancy for the building. I mean, is it going to be a problem? <clears throat> is it going to be a problem with me starting new equipment in there? To move the equipment in there? No, we've, we've done the general inspection. Uh, we're, um, we just received a letter from Steve Bacon. We've been working with the architect uh, on the uh, existing building. Did you get two weeks building. ago? I'm sorry? Did you get any paperwork two weeks ago from him? We got some more last week. You got some more last yeah. week. How long um, is it going to take to go over that stuff? I think uh, we just have to have a sit down with, with Keith and have Keith and sign the agreement that we've come up with and be good. it'll be good to go. Okay, uh, so no improvements will need to be made to the building. Huh, no sorry. improvements will need to be made to the building for the auto, auto body repair shop. Mm -hmm. uh, for the paint booth, um, there were some additional requirements needed for the building to update the building, but not for the auto body shop. So, um, do you know what them? Do you know what them requirements he was requiring are? Um, I'll give you a copy of this letter that uh, Steve Bacon sent to us. Okay. And if you want to come in uh, with, with Keith and discuss that with us and go is over the letter. Is that another meeting or? I'm sorry? Is that it at another meeting or? Uh, no, that's. Just uh, come in and talk. During to office you. hours. We'll, okay. we'll schedule that. And do you, do you have my sign permits tonight or the permits? Yes, we've had those for a while, yeah. You don't have them here tonight. No, I, well, they're out in my office. If you want to wait around till the end of the meeting, I will. Uh, that'll be all right, but I just want to make sure that everything's okay with that. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes, we wrote those up week before last, I believe. Okay, so I'll I'll start moving my stuff in there tomorrow. Okay. If it's no problem. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. On uh, item number two, no, 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 Yes. no, 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 Yes. no, 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 Yes. Five yes, zero no's. Motion carries. Now we'll move on. The request for a special use permit to operate an auto body repair shop and conduct an automobile sales at 202 North Main. To operate an auto body repair shop at 235 North Main. And maintain an automobile wrecking site at 331 North Main. 201 or 202 and 235 North Main are located in the C2 Central District Business District and 331 North Main is located in the C4 Neighborhood Commercial District. <coughs> Mr. Weiner, would you like to address the board? George Weiner, 235 North Main, lifelong resident of St. Denby, uh, run a business on Main Street since 1974. Things have changed and we, we got all the state licenses now and the, the dealer license to sell cars and everything and the salvage license and oh, sales tax number and all the other licenses in, in order. Any questions? We have fence around the property on 235 Main and we have fence around the property at at 331 Main, on two sides. Along the creek there, I've recently planted 15 cedar trees that should grow up and cover the view from the creek, you know, like when, when you're on the bridge looking back. Just depends how quick they grow. It was, not, it was a rough area where you couldn't actually put a fence up. George, it says here that in May of 2012, you refused to sign the agreement that the city... Brent had come up with another. I, years ago, I signed an agreement with uh, planning and zoning. It was about 15 cars and well, other stuff. And Brent had come up with a new agreement, which was down to uh, about half that number of cars and that I was only allowed to be working on two cars at one time on the property and that's why I denied the grid because we had signed this agreement with the planning and zoning several years ago. That was before I had all the licenses and now the state the state don't they don't tell you how many cars you can have or nothing. You can it, it's a free enterprise when you got the license. As long as it meets the city approved. George, I don't know where to begin. Go um, ahead. Pardon me? Go ahead. I'm going to try to. I got it. You, you, when was your, when did you have, I have all, I have a lot of information here. That yes. I've read every bit of twice and I still, it's, it's still confusing and, and oh, really trying to get the uh, timeline straight. Yeah. When was your last special use permit good until? Um, sometime in, in 13. And was that revoked? Uh, apparently. I had never received notice that it was actually revoked by a written letter or anything that I can recall. Except, uh, your, your last permit? Somewhere. Right. His last permit mm -hmm. was issued in 2010, I believe. And that's the one that, that you did not renew in 2012. When was one revoked? 
today. That was in, in 2010. Um, among the stipulations was a mandatory one year review for renewal. I got too much. I don't, I just, it's on page six of 18. And on the one year review of 2012. That page. Approved under condition to have been signed an agreement, and that's when he didn't sign the agreement. In 1997, uh, he had an SUP that was revoked. Okay. It was before the fence and everything. So, have you been operating your business the same without? Apparently, I thought I had a special use permit, but apparently it, it's, you know, been. So the one that was issued in 2010 said it was a mandatory one-year review. And apparently mm -hmm. it was reviewed then. There was something done in 2012. Page right. 6 of 18, third uh, bullet point from the bottom. Which one are you talking? 6 of 18, third okay. bullet point from the bottom. That's the one I'm on. Okay. It was issued October of 2010 and said a mandatory one year. And, and you, George, you said you had it until 13? I, I thought I did. So there should have been like three reviews in there. This, this also says that the one year review of the 2012 SUP was conducted by the Board of Aldermen on April 26, 2012. Yeah, so was there not a 2011 review? I think the review stretched out a little longer than it was yes. actually assigned, but we still had a review. So is the automobile graveyard still there, still operating? At which address? 311 North Main. Not 311. 331. Oh, okay, yeah. 331, Mark. Page 7. Oh. 330. Yeah, that's a typo. 331. That's property across the creek, correct? Yes, 331 is across the creek. There is no 311. Well, I'm not really sure. I found three addresses for that one lot. Yeah. Did you? <laughs> yes. Oh. That's the way the deed reads. It's yeah. so lot 1, 2, and 3 of the Ziegler track. What I'm looking at. It says uh, it's dated January 6, 2014. As of this date, an auto body and repair shop is in operation at 235 North Main Street. The building inspector and chief of police counted approximately 40 damaged and inoperable vehicles on the exterior of the property and numerous piles of car parts and junk. And there are several pictures accompanying this that were taken on the 8th, is it the 3rd or the 8th of? Uh, the 3rd of December of 2013 with lots of salvage vehicles and parts. They're all parked in order and the parts are pretty well piled up in order. Some of the stuff's piled there for recycling. Some of the stuff's piled there for reuse. Um, turn on page 12, 18. The St. Genevieve Municipal Code does not permit automobile wrecking in any other district than a, is that an I-2 or 1-2? I-2. I-2 heavy industrial district. Special use permits may not be issued even by the Board of Aldermen to operate such a use in any district. As I've read through this, uh, help me understand what that help me understand what that means. Um, Does that mean no? Means no. It means that the ordinance, as written, the way that the board wrote it, the ordinance, um, they only wanted automobile wrecking in an I two zone, no matter what. So, the automobile wrecking that Mr. Weiner on Mr. Weiner's property is not in an I two zone. No. So it is out of compliance. 
Correct. And as the ordinance is currently written, it cannot be put into compliance. Correct. Is that at 331 Main? Yeah. Well, 331 Main, I've had a business there since 1974, which I always thought, and when I did re relocate after the flood, I still stored cars over there, so I would write on when I paid my license, which they'd send me a bill every every year, I'd write on there the, the addresses of 331. We also have information that says 331 North Main Street is located within an AE flood hazard zone adjacent to the floodway and is therefore subject to federal flood guidelines. An honorable graveyard would be considered to be an undesirable use of the property and a danger to surrounding properties in the occurrence of a flood. So even at 331, that's the issue. George, you've had a business license at that address since 1977? 78 is when, when, uh, mm, oh, Why is um, it that grandfather? Because he requested uh, the, the Planning and Zoning Commission and the board finally approved it to relocate his business from there to his, his home to 235 after the 1993 floods. So he officially relocated his business. But I kept that. 331 as a satellite, I stored cars over there in the building and outside the building over there and had direct defense. On um, one year I had to put the fence up over there, but we put the fence up since then. So it still should be grandfathered in. That was not the understanding with the special use permit that was issued back then? It was the um, understanding it was I had, and, and I don't know where. Um, you know, topographical error or what it was, but uh, it was still my understanding that that's where we stood at. Right. So what does that do to your question? I don't know. I mean, the place has been there since I was a kid. Yeah, okay. okay. That seems like a pretty straightforward question. It sounds like it had a straightforward answer. Uh, George, would you, like, would you like to address any of these certified complaint forms and the, the, the numerous letters that I have copies of uh, from the city about compliance on your property? Uh, give me a page number. Well, pick one. Uh, it, I mean, there's a bunch of it here. Uh, Talking about the other yeah, the other stuff. Oh, yeah, I didn't give him no. Undercover. Well, one is re is dated as recently as uh, December fourth, twenty thirteen. Are you aware of that certified complaint? Uh, probably not. Did I? Got certified mail, uh, regular first class to uh, your 235 North Main Street address. I don't remember getting it, Tom. Okay. Well, excuse me, that was, uh, this, these are two things on the same piece of paper, two separate. This one's from. Oh, I'm sorry. I did back and I copied um, um, both sides, so um, to save paper. But it should be in order. So the city sent certified mail on October 3rd of 2012, and there's nothing been done since then? No. Nothing at all by the city or nobody? The city hasn't done anything since then? Um, in December, um, do you have a copy of the certified complaint sent to the city attorney? And a um, court summons was issued after that. 
What was the outcome of that? That has been continued. Um, I believe his court date is this week. We got court coming up. Board. The only thing is, what can you tell us about this? Well, I went to Brennan and asked her what we could do, and she said reapply, and that's why we're here. Reapply for another special use permit to see well, how we could have another certified complaint form the city of St. Jimmy, Missouri, uh, dated the fourth day of December 2013. It's on the back side of the front page. Operate an illegal junkyard, automobile graveyard, auto body shop, and car dealership business from his home located at 235 North Main Street, 341, 321. 202 with a few question marks in there. Street without obtaining a special use permit as required by section 405 of the city's municipal code. Keep approximately 40 damaged vehicles, damaged and operable vehicles on his property, not enclosed in enclosed buildings as required by code. Keep junk, debris, and car parts on his property. Maintain a nuisance on his property. Fail to respond to notices of violation and orders to remove the above stated nuisances. And this is this is only a month old. Can you tell us about this? Um, the fence, you, you know, I built a fence and they come on, you know, they, these pictures were taken behind the fence, you know, it's, nobody can see it but me and the yard there actually. The cars are behind the fence. Uh, you can't see it from Washington Street, you can't see it from Main Street. People drive by and want to know where I'm even at, to tell you the truth. Uh, as far as this number four, this news is on this property. That's uh, no one, no complaints have been received. Brenda's, that's Brenda's nuisance. About this particular complaint form. Do you, you need a copy of it? Yeah. I got. Let's see what number is that. Is that the one that fourth the uh fourth of December two thousand? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Pardon my interruption. But no, they're uh, you know, they're everything's behind the fence. And uh, you know, I cost money to build that fence and you can run up down Main Street, you can't even see the well, see the property for the fence. Let me ask you a specific question about that. Operate an illegal junkyard, um automotive graveyard, auto body shop, car dealership from these addresses without obtaining a special use permit required by section 405 of the city's municipal code. I thought I had one time. Okay. I didn't right. realize that it was revoked or. Was he ever notified that it was revoked, certified or? Uh, yes, the letters are in the back. Mm. So uh, it was not revoked because it was I'm never approved and he was not revoked. Is that the one October 3rd, 2012? That's one of them. There's another one on May 18th, 2012. Okay. <clears throat> May 4th? What is that? That was one of them. We spend a lot of money getting these dealers license and salvage license and other things to satisfy questions that were involved. Just plus the fence where you can't actually see the property. That's okay, Jeff. I'm not I'm over it. Well, I read these letters and to me it's kind of in black and white that your license was revoked. I mean, because this one says you're hereby notified that all activity regarding an auto repair and restoration business must cease immediately. I don't know what part of that 
would make you think you still had a license because it's on two letters and one was May of 2012 and one was October. And they both say the same thing. They both delivered certified mail. Well, they're on the other, it's on the other side, you said? October. It states the amount that you could be fined for continuing to operate. We've been hauling a few things off. I had to bring in receipts to Brenda, getting rid of some stuff, and I, you know, brought several into her, and then I just quit bringing them into her. And the price went down, so now the price is up again, so we can start hauling again. The property at, at 235 Main, uh, my house is still residential, but the property from the driveway back, I had re uh, last year rezoned uh, commercial by Linda Wagner. So it actually has uh, cost me about $180 more just to have the back end of my property commercialized. She can't rezone, can she? Mm -hmm. Linda Wagner can't rezone city property, no. can she? No, uh, I think it was assessed as commercial. Okay, assessed. That's a different, this rezone. Yeah, yeah. Assessed, yeah. <coughs> I believe that, um, from what I understand, the assessor can um, reassess a property as commercial with you and uh, a home occupation at the house. I believe that's what he's referring yeah. to. George, there's just not much information right here in front of us that helps you very much. In the administrator staff report, it says uh, the well documented past actions of the applicant demonstrate a lack of regard for city regulations and ordinances. The continuance of business after the special use permit has been revoked, not once but twice also establishes a blatant disregard for the Board of Alderman community as well. That's why we're starting over new, Tom. Okay. That's why I come in to reapply. Okay. Get along with you people. And maybe have you guys get along with me. We just hanging out there as far as the illegal use? Certified complaint form, isn't that? That's still uh, in process. So this is what he's going to court for. Correct. So if we approve a special use permit tonight, then what, this all goes away or? Um, yeah, no, I'm here. not necessarily. Well, I didn't think so, but I was no. just curious what, no. what our right. role is here tonight. Is because the continued use after our not having the business license is still an issue that the, I guess the city attorney and the judge will Decide. So, is there you had business licenses all throughout this whole thing? Yes. What? How could they be issued if it uh, wasn't in compliance? It was a misunderstanding. Um, just a renewal of the license without checking to see if the um, zoning was all right. Well, I think doesn't it even go back to the uh, April letter? Mm -hmm. As far as what was expected, well, it's the May 4th letter, but it's from the Board of Aldermen public hearing on April 26th, and all the five stipulations there. Brenda, the last bullet. What does that mean? In, in the agenda, part, uh, which one are you looking at? Uh, 
page 14. Special use grant? Yeah. Um, staff report. The staff report. Of the, bo the bottom bullet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Section, the very, very bottom one or the under conditions? Oh, um, excuse me. This in the center there. It's the properties at 235 North Main and 331 North Main must be cleared of all derelict vehicles, scrap, junk cars, car parts within six months of issuance of the occupancy permit and business license. What does that mean in business license? George already had, you already have your business license, right, George? Correct. Well, it's being um, retained currently until this has been resolved. It's being retained. His, his business license has come up for renewal, for the annual renewal, and right now it's being retained until uh, he gets a legal place to operate. So then do you, really, you don't right have a business, business license right now? Not a current one. The city's got my check. But we have not issued the license. The city's got my check. No. Well, they didn't cash it, right? I don't know. I, I don't handle the checks. <laughs> I don't know. What can we do to help George? Where, where, I mean, we got stuff here that, that looks to me should have been done and was not done. Is that something that if he got busy and took care of all this stuff that another few two or three weeks or months or six weeks or two months i don't know two years four it's years it, well i six understand years. yeah it's, it's pretty intense i know it is george i've been there uh what you have there and uh, it'd be a big big job i agree so but the similar similar opportunities have been available in the past or not really for to, to uh, we comply did comply with what you've been asked to comply with. We, we continued the business, business buying, selling, and, and rebuilding. Uh, but we did haul some off. Brenda got the receipts. And I, I've hauled some off since then that I didn't bring the receipts in because I thought well, that might be personal business, you know. Me. I guess I wasn't really asking you for your receipts on the scrap you're selling. My point would be that. Um, do you feel you've been given ample opportunity to comply with uh, the requests in the past that still it appears were not complied with? Yes, but I worked at it. Yeah, I'm trying to run a business there and sell cars and rebuild them at the same time, but you know, it, it, it's not a scrap business start off with it you know it's not all about recycling it's about rebuilding and set repairing and selling how long has some of that recyclable material been sitting on your property no yeah, yeah i've hauled well how do you say the scrap metal i haul at least twice a year you know that's that's takeoff stuff that come off of a wreck vehicle i throw in the pile i got one area that gets piled up and then i end up with an abandoned vehicle or something and uh Fill it full, you know, and fill the trailer full and haul it off. We do that, that clean up that pile twice a year. Right now it needs cleaned up. The weather got crappy on us. Did any neighbors respond? No. I don't think there's ever been any real complaints from neighbors, has there? Not recently. There were, in the packet it shows, um, in the past, but not uh, since I've been here. Not since right. we put the fence up, you know, the fence, mm -hmm. there's people come by that don't even know I'm there. Right. You know, and it, 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 how do I say it? it the fence actually hurt my uh, business uh, by, you know, people don't know where I'm at, or, which is fine because I'm more into the rebuilding and, and selling. I don't want to do customer work. Mm -hmm. I used to do a lot of auto repair customer work, but that just dropped off to nothing. Yeah. Well, you got your sales right there, the, the old blacksmith shop. There. Yeah, well, it's limited space there too. Record. Right. 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 You limited how many you sell a year, don't you? No, no, I got DK. No, he's got the 
full regular license. Right? Oh, okay. yes. Right. Unlimited as far as sale. Correct. That was to be one of the questions that I had. And you, you copy your motor vehicle dealer's license. It's a requirements of you are. The state of Missouri resolves that the dealer, manufacturer, wholesaler, or auction shall below, shown below, is licensed within the applicant requirement of section 301.550 through 301.573. What does that mean? It means you got to follow the monthly report. And but uh, you can sell as many cars as you want. Correct. The state, you get you know, your monthly report. You do it to uh, Department of Revenue. Just to do it online and. Uh, Keep, you got to keep a, a written copy as your record. Well, I know that's been a point of contention in the past, and, and yes. it's obvious that you've been working to try to get in compliance. I am in compliance. I've been in compliance for. I got my D tag in uh, in March. After I guess when was that last meeting? April of twelve or something like that, or, or April of thirteen? When? Oh. Uh, anyway, I got I, in March. April. I think. April. Let's see. I think I got it in April or March, but I've had it for almost seven months. Right? Got my new 13 or 14 plates now. Got the new, uh, you got a copy of the new license. The salvage license runs from uh, from uh, I think it's July to July, so it's got a two-year license on that. Of course, it, is. Well, it doesn't it doesn't appear that there are any issues about. Um, selling vehicles right uh the issues all around the the, the uh, junk the junk mm -hmm. and make our the contention between you and the city of these are stipulations and you not doing them to meet whatever the city felt like you should and, and all that so i mean it, it shows here in the staff uh, report the recommendations by uh, the planning zoning admi administrator. Uh, the recommend staff recommends the following standard motion. Denial for the auto body repair shop at 235 North Main. Denial for the automotive wrecking and storage of cars and parts at 331 North Main. Partial approval for auto sales only at 202 North Main contingent upon the following conditions, and it has a list of conditions. What page is that on? Time? That's page 14 of 18. That's on 14, 18? 14. With my auto repair, I buy all my paint and materials, you know, here in St. Genevieve. Of course, I got a tax number, so, you know, when I didn't have have a tax number, you guys was making good, good money. But now it's kind of different. notes uh, when I review this application for special use permit um, on my own system I made an asterisk by every thing that I thought uh, was bad and a check mark by everything I thought was good or okay and I got 15 asterisks and four check marks and that just kind of helped me personally put me in perspective what we're trying to look at because there really is a lot of information here. Um, Mr. Chairman, I don't know how to move forward. I guess you're going to have to call for a motion. Or Any other input, questions, comments? 
Well, I still think the 331 property is grandfathered, you know. I think we got a bunch of things that need straightened out before we can do anything. For one, I'd like to see what comes out of the court date before I make a decision one way or the other. I mean, granted, George is wrong in some areas. I know he, he thought he had a license, but it clearly states he did not, and he had registered letters, but and on the other hand, the city gives him yeah, a license, city issued a license to operate. That's fine. Okay. You know, so well, does the business license stipulate that he? I mean, what does that? I don't understand. What does that say? Well, if the city gives him a business license for an address, and that, and that yeah, address he has to have a special use. Selling use. Avon out of that address. Yeah, but he has well, to. He had to have a special use permit to have that business. So that's why the the city is not issued. The business license now. This year. Now. This, time. this year. This time. It looks like there's just a, a, been a lot of uh, uh, communication. Mm -hmm. Because here's uh, his business license application for this yeah. year. And it says Auto Body Shop or Rec Vehicles to Sell and Use. Yeah. And I'm sure that's what his 2012, 2013, 2011 license application said. So I mean, I, granted, he's—I don't think George is 100 percent in, in the right either. But the city's made some errors as well. I agree. And I'd like—I personally, I'd like to see what comes out of the the court finding before I make a motion. Or so, can we make a motion to table? Um, Obtaining a motion for anything. I, I would be interested to uh, see exactly why or why not um, the business on the one piece of property is or isn't grandfathered. And I would think that would be reasonably easy to determine. Um, that I think to me that's going to solve that, resolve that issue clearly um, if it's not grandfathered. Talking yeah. about 331? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 331. Well, that's explained in there because when he requested a special use permit for his home, he said he was moving his business from 331 to 235. Was the business license ever changed? Hmm. Does it need to be? Is the address 331, whatever that is? It says 235 on it, but I used to write on the piece I'd send back to Pam. 331 main. Is this information that we can clearly obtain? The license applications? I'm not sure how I'm far back I'm just talking the about the grandfathering from. thing. Uh, I mean, it, it appears to me that you have addressed that to say that no, it doesn't. Right. Because um, I believe it has to do with the actual activity, whether or not the activity has legally continued or not. Well, the activity is illegally continued to date, that's, which is mm. a big deal to me. Right. And that's a really big deal to me. Yep. That um, to, to get a special use permit with not understanding the, the uh, legality of your business operations currently, that's a big deal. Uh, I mean, every business has got to understand where they're at and stay right on top of it from compliance. Uh, I would make a, a motion to table this until resolution of the uh, certified complaint that, that uh, is dated the fourth day of December. Now, is that the most current, or was that the one going to court? This is the one going to court, yes. I would say I would like to table this until resolution so that, that may influence our decision. 
can, can you direct the staff to suspend enforcement in that resolution, please? I would like to direct staff to suspend enforcement in that resolution. And what does that mean exactly? And you're not going to take any further action for or against? You're not going to write any more letters? Okay. Add to the pile of paper you have there to consider when we come back. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Couch, would you please repeat your, your take and your motion? I would like to make a motion to table um, action on the special use permit application until pending pending litigation. Would that be appropriate for, for well, description? Pending the outcome of the pending the outcome of the, uh, the court activity, I guess. Court huh? activity related to the. Uh, Certified complaint dated the fourth day of December 2013. Second. Got that, Brent? Yeah. I'm getting there. Yes. Got a motion and a second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? <coughs> Motion carries. Old business. Um, I did um, do some research on the um, special use permits that require uh, review oh, um, and there are two um, one 21 north six uh, flower shop and um, Tracy McDonald's uh, gun um, I guess his his firearm sale from, from home uh, those both are up for review and they will be coming for back to the board of Alderman next month doesn't have any input on that? It's a review, it's not a reapplication. Okay. So. so we're all in Right. So, we have it on. Another business? One more thing, I have uh, started a database that I'm starting to enter. Um, special use permits, variances, rezonings, and uh, plats, so we can track those. Cool. All right. Any other business? Motion to adjourn. Good motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs>